Hey everyone, welcome back to You Rediscovers RuneScape. Now, I'd like to apologise again for the frame rate issues in the last video. As I touched upon, you don't really get any do-overs with the rediscovery series. So, I, I've fixed it a little bit. Turns out it's just kind of brutal on my, um, on my PC. It's still not great, but it's better than it was, so hopefully that'll be, that'll be alright. I'm being taught how to use a bank. <laughs> okay. You're uh, very much preaching to the choir here. It's not what that phrase means. Okay, that's fine. Can access my items at any banking game? That's good to know. Got a lot of items that can't be... <laughs> okay, I'll go give him the gloves for, for going to the bank. All right. Got a lot of items that can't be put in the bank, though, like these XP lamps I kind of neglected to use. Gain XP in, I mean, I guess, magic is the traditional kind of best choice. Whether that's true in, in RS3 or not it remains to be seen. Yeah, so I'm, what, level 4 in Magic now. Also, all this crap? <laughs> I, w I was talking a little bit in the last video about how impressive all this stuff looks to me, but it seems really common for people to be getting, like, 99 in all skills, uh, 120 invention, which just on the face of it looks like the most kind of advanced skill. I mean, you need 80 smithing, crafting, and divination, whatever the hell divination is, to even start it, so... This seems pretty impressive, uh, but it seems also pretty common. Oh, 100 XP and everything, I'll take that. Lovely. Yeah, um, have I gone up a combat level? No, I'm still level 8. I've spent a little bit of time going through the interfaces and trying to work out what works for me. I, d I, r I read that as Warpriest, as in the most Warpri Bandos armor. No, it's Warpriest. Lots of combat abilities. It's good that uh, strength and attack give you kind of more benefits than just hitting harder and more often. Because I'm used to strength giving you uh, literally nothing except like a couple of niche weapons and just more damage. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of into the idea of it giving you more options in combat as well. Mind Spike, where have I seen that phrase before? It's World of Warcraft. It's difficult in a fantasy setting to come up with something that hasn't been come up with before a dozen times. But I'm seeing a lot of stuff in this that is kind of uh, reminiscent, should we say, of other things. Other games. I need a Raptor reward key to open this chest. That reminds me, though, we have got, hopefully, yeah, Treasure Hunter keys. I got two last time that I didn't use, and I got two today for logging in. So I I guess I just, just open these chests, see what I get. Okay, fishing XP. I feel like it might actually be worth cashing some of these out. Uh, so maybe I'll do that. Prismatic medium form, so yeah, okay, we'll, cut it. we'll, we'll get 5k in lieu of that. Because I've got a plan of going to the Grand Exchange and just picking up some better equipment. Uh, which hopefully is going to be like, alt value, low level equipment. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cash that stuff out, because low level skills tend not to be particularly painful to level anyway. So I'm, I'm hoping the money might be a little bit more useful. Oh, I've got a, I've got a rare thing. Mask of Gloom, provides bonuses while fighting dark beasts. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be useful now. 90 Slayer is going to take me about two weeks, according to what I've already seen, so... I mean, yeah, you know what, we'll... we'll... <laughs> you see this shit? Well, we'll stick it in the bank for now. Uh, and maybe we'll use that in, in, a, in a few hours when I've got 90 Slayer. So what am I doing now? Talk to the gnome shopkeeper in Berthorpe and complete the trading tutorial. Alright, I can do that. Oh, so it's giving me a, a bronze sword and a charge bow for free, but I've already got them, maybe? Kale's charge bow is better than this charge bow by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Shield bow. I don't know what that means. If only I knew what that meant, I could make an informed decision. Damage 26, accuracy 150. Well. And the speed is lower as well, so what does this got over Kale's Charge Bow apart from 30 armor, which doesn't seem that important? Yeah, let's let's sell the stuff. I can't sell uh, a lot of this stuff, like quest rewards. I can sell my bronze sword. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I want to do that. 
I'm gonna be going to buy a buy a fucking iron sword. No, steel swords. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a steel sword from the Grand Exchange, assuming I can use it. So to challenge Mr. Spara, what have you got for me? This is still the tutorial. I probably should have done it all in the same video, to be honest. I thought I was out of the tutorial. I'm not. Hey, Stretch, if you're looking for something to do, you've come to the right place. I can assign some basic challenges from my list. These are daily challenges, which I'll reward you for if you complete them. Just bring me anything you collect, and I'll give you something useful in return. It's simple. Just pick one of the challenges I assign you, complete it, and come see me for a reward. You'll need to give me anything you collect, of course, but the rewards I give out are much better. So what are you waiting for, Beanpel? Go get started. It's my best tutorial voice. Okay. This is this is good. They're kind of from what I see they're trying to get rid of the grind of RuneScape, which is traditionally a very, very grind heavy game where you can spend like hundreds of hours just leveling one skill. Um but they they've tried to give you like something different to do every day, so so that's good. Okay. So I can kill five cows. I mean, I can't because I sold my sword. All right, so I can track that. Where is it being tracked? Just here, I guess. Um, sure. Complete all the basic challenges. All right, so I need to... Oh, okay, no, the challenges tab is here. All right. No, 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 no. bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh god, I need to do some mining, some fishing, some woodcutting, and some prayer. Alright, but I think I've already got like, all the basic tools that I need. If the tutorial's anything to go by, I already had, I already had like, a pickaxe and a, a fishing rod. I'm going to assume that I can do that. Is this, can, I, can I move this? It seems really... Okay interface settings. There's a mode to edit mode. Oh god. Can I stretch this out a little bit? Uh, sure. Save and exit. I'm saving and exiting. Okay. Oh. Why didn't it let me do that before? Alright. Never mind. Needs must as the devil drives. That, that's a different saying. I'm going to use Kale's Charge Bow. I'm going to kill the fuck out of these cows. I'm weak against air spells, which is not going to be useful to me. Why am I not killing it? This ability requires a melee weapon. Oh, you know what? I changed to a revolution. Uh, I killed it somehow. Not quite sure. Okay, so I can... Oh, okay, yeah, I'm for it. Right. I know we'll gain XP in fishing. Fine, whatever. Uh, okay, challenges. Do I need to borrow five bones? Yeah, there we go. Borrow my five bones, specifically from Cal's Eve Slain, although I imagine any bones would probably work. So what do I need to... Uh, you'll not need to hand anything in on completion of your challenge, okay. Well, cursing, you need to hand over the logs, you need to hand over the fish, you need to hand over the ore. You don't need to hand anything in for combat. Alright, it's beasts. Combat level 3000. That is not something I'm used to seeing. So this is just... Like, if I recommend a combat level 60 for the Barrows Brothers, that's changed a little bit. Combat level 150. No, there's four of them are 115, two of them are 98. Alright, this is a different game, I get it. But for now, we're going to be killing cows. Uh, right, so, revolution is a thing that I was doing. Uh, is that in... that's in powers, isn't it? Combat settings, yeah. I was considering trying out momentum. Dramatically increases the damage of your auto attacks using any basic or threshold abilities within the effect. I do, this seems like one of those things that everyone who's played the game for five minutes knows is either incredible or awful. So you should always use it or never use it. And it seems like bad design that that would be the case, but I also know it's really difficult to balance something like this for all levels. Uh, so it becomes really good at some levels and really bad at others, or just really good or really bad in general. But you know, I think probably at low levels it might turn out to be better, because you have fewer active abilities to use. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll wield Reese's swords. And just, yeah, alright. This is, yeah, momentum, alright. 
It seems fine now, but I'm only killing cows. I should probably take all this stuff. Just bury the bones as I go. Uh, no, I know what bones are, dude. It's not a problem. Alright. I'm um, level 8 attack. That little fanfare really reminds me of Final Fantasy X. I don't know what it reminds me of. Uh, something to do with the monster arena, maybe? But I don't know, man. I, it's it's just, a, just a little fanfare, I guess. Okay, so I completed. I should have completed the prayer challenge as well. Yeah, okay, mining, fishing, and woodcutting. So you're going to need to hand everything in, which means I can't really... I can bank this stuff. There's a bank here. Where is the bank? You, you, can I move this shit? <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you, please? I'll put you there. Oh, uh, no, I've gone past the bank. I've gone way past the bank. No, I have not gone past the bank. All right, give me two seconds. I'm gonna try and try and get rid of some programs that might be crippling my frame rate. Oh yeah, that's a thing I have. What? What's that? What? Why did I? What are you? How did I get this? Uh, okay. Slisk is a name I recognise. Uh, not from old school RuneScape, but just from people who played this game have mentioned him, I think. He might be quite important. I don't know. Alright, I don't give a fuck. Quite honestly, I will give a fuck at some point in the future, but right now I'm just trying to focus on making sure that I kind of know what I'm doing in the, in the basics of the game. Uh, this can be sorted out later. I'm not going to sort out my bank on camera, maybe on stream, but not on camera. Uh, not, well, not that I'm streaming this, but if I was streaming, I'd be okay with it. Right, okay. Mining. Located near the mining and smithing trainers. I feel like I might need to open the world map and just have a look at where that might be. Uh, fishing, I imagine, will be near the coast. There shouldn't be a coast in Berthorpe. Oh, a lake, alright. And uh, just woodcutting pretty much anywhere. So, world map. There's the world map. Oh yeah, I moved my Slayer counter. I turned on the Slayer counter because Slayer is like my favourite thing. Where are you? That's... Is that the cow field? Right, mining and smithing trainers. Gotta be... Oh, there we are. Okay. I'm gonna do some mining. Might actually go and do something a bit more interesting in this, in this episode as well. Fingers crossed. Is that the stone circle? It is. Oh my word. Oh, it, the breadcrumb shell was leading me there all, all the time. I really hope I can turn that... No, no, it wasn't. No. Oh. <laughs> There's a mine. Oh, this will be a mine. If I had to guess, I'd say this is a mine of some kind. Yeah, I do have a pick. I want to know where I got that... Sliskelion piece from Sliskelion Mask, I think it was. Oh yeah, okay. Seventeen and a half bonus XP. Just need to mine three rocks. I'll just mine the same rock three times. A sinkhole's gonna spawn in ten minutes. Talk to Tulsa of Damonheim for more information. Uh might not do that. I like that they bring in like what appear to be world events. That's cool. I'm for it. I like it. It's a little bit Guild Wars 2. I didn't play much Guild Wars 2, but I played um I played it kind of half assedly for maybe a few weeks. And that was one of the things I enjoyed about it was that there were kind of uh, events to break up the monotony of a world, make it feel a little bit more like a world, I guess, rather than just kind of a, a sandbox you'd play around in. Which is something that I think uh, RuneScape, in my experience, like maybe 10 years ago, did suffer from a lot, and old school RuneScape does suffer from now. Like the lake is down here. I'm not actually sure if you can see my mouse cursor. I'm pretty sure I, I turned it on, but I don't think it was visible in the last video. Anyway. So, yeah, so I, I'm really hoping that... I, I'm glad to see, I guess, that they've tried to quell that a little bit. Right, that, that is a fishing spot. Cage. Not lobsters, I'm guessing. Power creep isn't that hard yet. Is it lobster? Oh, crayfish, okay. Fish, if 
five crayfish. I can do that. Seems to be going pretty well right now. Yeah, 10 bonus XP. Give me that sweet, sweet bonus XP. All right. Just quickly hide that bullshit. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, and just cut trees. Okay, I can cut five trees. This is not taking as long as I thought it would. Also, I get some rewards after this. That's why I'm doing this, after all. <laughs> this animation is uh, inspiring. Items has received Pernix chaps. What's Pernix? Where is he? What does he do? We don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Probably not in this series, but if I, if I enjoy the game, I may continue to stream it once the kind of rediscovery thing is is burned out. Uh, it's something I mentioned in, in my last series, which many of you probably didn't watch. Um, it was Hearthstone. And I I kind of I made it quite clear at the start that it's a it's a rediscovery series, which means it's kind of innately got a time limit on it. I didn't I didn't put a time limit on it, um, but I, I ended the series after I think twenty three episodes, um, just because it was kind of turning from you rediscovers Hearthstone to you plays Hearthstone, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's more suited to the stream um, or something like that than than YouTube, and it, that's even more true with RuneScape. So I, I'm. I'm going to say right now, this challenge, not this challenge, I'm just reading this and those words entered my brain. Um, and this, this series is not going to last forever, but if I enjoy the game, and so far I am, I'm going to continue to stream it. Oh, you just take stuff from my bank. Yeah, okay. Yes, and don't tell me again, bitch. Let's check this one. Basic challenge, prayer. You completed that one. Well done. Here's your reward. Let's check this one. Basic challenge, woodcutting. You completed that one. Well done. Here's your reward. Let's check this one. Basic challenge fishing. Yeah, you've completed that one. Well done. Here's your reward. Let's check this one. Basic challenge mining. You've completed that one. Well done. Here's your reward. Let's check this one. Basic challenge combat. And you've completed that one. Well done. Here's your reward. Nice work at that. You've ticked up all my basic challenges. Not such a rookie after all. Oh, and one more thing. I found a baby troll sniffing around my things. Could you look after it for me? Thanks. Sure. I've been the Amulet of Potency. <laughs> Here, take this Ring of Competence. Where am I going? Tavoli. Nah, I always run that. Oh, this game has titles. Cool. I like titles. <laughs> I've never been much of one for, like, just running around collecting cosmetic stuff, but I, I do have a soft spot for titles. Challenge XP lab. Uh, there's combat skills. Magic. 52 XP. Oh, mystery bag. Raw beast meat and 19 coins. Hard leather and 6 coins. Grimy marantil and 99 coins. Alright. 2 armor, 2 prayer bonus. I don't know what 2 prayer bonus means. Um, in the runescape I'm familiar with, 2 prayer bonus will be a small but significant amount. In this, I imagine it's probably nothing. But I could be wrong. I'm talking to Gudrick in his home southwest of the Tavoli Lodestone. Ah, uh, he's right here. Cool. Uh, I don't know why my character feels the need to go and ask about a shadow over Ashdale when he hasn't heard of it before in his life. I've received some troubling news, laddie. As you probably know, supplies are ferried over to Ashdale on a regular basis. But about a week ago, the supply ship started returning with the cargo still aboard. That was meant to be Scottish, she went full Irish. I've got no excuse. I'm from England, living in Wales. I suppose that's the perfect excuse. Appropriate combat gear for your level. Well, my level is like zero, so... Oh shit, three black pearls. I don't know what that is. I'll take two treasure hunter keys, I guess. The new one can count on you, laddie. That's even worse. When you're ready to leave, just head out onto the dock. The boat will take you directly to Ashdale. Good luck, laddie. All right. Be 
been shoehorned into another quest. I'm ready to travel to Ashdod. I've never been more ready in my life, mate. Do I need food for this, maybe? Ah, maybe I should have taken food. I don't know. Oh, we're, we're in for a cutscene. Do I skip the cutscene? Oh, I skip the cutscene. Didn't really seem worth watching either. Hello? Oh, there we go. That is, uh, that is, okay. Can I just move this shit over here? Because, for real, it's really in the way. Oh, slime. A puddle of sticky green gloop. Luckily, I've got my raw beast meat and hard leather with me, so I'm sure I can make something work there. Where am I going? I've been, I've been asked to investigate some shit in Ashdale. I probably should have read it, honestly. Oh, the mysterious disappearance of Ashdale's residence. The island is being buffeted by a fierce storm. I know they read that as buffeted by a fierce storm. I should explore Ashdale and try to find the missing villagers. Yeah, I'm sure no one's thought of that. What I should do is go and talk to someone on the mainland who may have already tried to work out what's happened. Who? Who are you? I'm here to help. Oh, thanks, Sarah Dolman. What happened here? We were attacked by these creatures. Horrible, horrible creatures like something from a nightmare. They came out of nowhere and before we knew it, we were surrounded. We made barricades, but the creatures just climbed over them. I managed to avoid them by hiding in my attic, but the others... The others weren't so lucky. The creatures took them away, but I don't know where. I remember them seeing Dragon off poor Diggory. Oh, it was horrible. Why haven't you tried to leave, you bitch? What, on my own? You need more than one person to sail a ship, you know? No, all I could do was wait and hope that someone would come to help. And now someone has. I need to get to the other side of the island, away from this snivelling harpy as soon as possible. You're not going to leave me, are you? You have to get me out of here. I have to find the other townspeople. But I understand. If you want to get to the other side of the island, your best bet will be to use the sewers. Of course it would. The barricades will make it hard to navigate the streets, and if there are any of those creatures around you, don't want to get caught while you're clambering over a stack of barrels. There's an entrance outside, just through the back door. Please be careful and don't forget about me. Why is there an entrance to the sewers? Oh, okay, she's on a cliff. I was like, why is there an entrance to the sewers in your back garden? This isn't East Ardoin. Hey, oh, that was a Plague City reference. This is some inexplicably subpar coffee. Says I'm being lazy and drinking it on camera. Yeah, kill the sewer rat. He's weak against earth spells, which I have a vast array of. Drop anything? Yeah, well, bones, fine, I guess. Maybe I should have gone to buy some better equipment before I came down here. What's on the floor there? Oh, just coins, okay. Yeah, 60 coins. And a sewer vent? <laughs> oh no, that's stairs. I thought they were like, I, I thought there was a pipe with a gap in the middle. Anyway. So I'm trying to get to the other side of the island. Why? Why does my character think he needs to get to the other side of the island? Maybe I'm being thick, but it seems like there's a lot of here that just isn't explained. Hello. Just kill that thing? Yeah. Crassian Scout. What's crass? This is the RuneScape I remember, man. So what's the difference between Momentum and Legacy mode? Oh, Stunned and Banned. Okay, that's different. It's uh, something I'm not necessarily into, but each to his own. Regenerate will be activated when you've left from... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so it's not necessarily um, automatic, but when you click it, it'll just uh, save it when you when you come out of combat. All right, more coins, lovely. 50k. Well, not 50k, 50 coins. 50c. 50p. 50g. How much are bones? 
165 GP. That is actually significant for my level, maybe. Uh, but not necessarily worth caring too much about. Four and a half prayer XP. I'm sure prayer is easier to level than it is in old school. I'm not actually sure of that. Yeah! I'm still in combat, apparently. Why am I still in combat? Charge? What's that? Some interesting new names for things. Raider Axe. How do I get that? Do I want to get that? That's a very good question. And one that I'm not currently equipped to answer. Alright. Almost and upwards. Pick up the money. I'm happy to pick up 40 coins, but not bones worth 165 coins. Hashtag gamer logic. Ah, oh, more Krassian scouts. Krassian? You'd say Russian, right? Not Russian. Alright, Krassian scouts. Oh, the enemy has an adrenaline bar as well. I I didn't really know what that was. Hey, he dropped something. Oh, minnow. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep that. Feel like it could be useful. Holy shit, what? He's achieved 104,273,167 XP in thieving and can now purchase a master gate. That's the threshold for some reason. Maybe that's like a billion total XP or something? It seems to make sense. Still, some of these numbers are like seriously impressive to me. I don't know if these people have just been, been playing since 2002 and are now equipped to, to get like ridiculous goals like that. Um, or if it's just really easy. Could be a bit of both. Where am I going? Up here? Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's a bridge. Ah. Oh. Just twatted my elbow against the wall. This is not my day, man. I thought I, I thought I sorted out my frame rate issues, but apparently not. And now I'm twatting my elbow all, all over the place. Momentum doesn't seem to be putting in too much work for me. Maybe it gets exponentially better as you uh, as you level up to compensate for the fact that you haven't got as many abilities or the, for the fact that you should have more abilities than you do at lower levels. Yeah, I'll take this minnow. Alright. Oh, I've reached the total level 75 milestone. Okay. Um, so I can use, what was that? Iron. Oh, you can't use iron weaponry until level 10 now. All right, sure. I figured it was uh, bronze and iron at five, uh, bronze and iron at one, sorry, uh, steel at five, and then black at ten. But I need to get out of that mindset. This is a different game. I say I need to get out of that mindset. It's quite difficult because it's it's a different game set in the same world, uh, or at least a very very similar world. It's the one I'm used to. Is that going to turn into a spiral staircase? I feel like that's the only reason it looks like that. A decorative centerpiece. Yeah, okay. Can I get out of that door? Inspect bust. Oh, is there going to be a lever? This is old school. This is classic. I fucking called it! <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll descend the stairs. Oh my word. Now oh, this one's got 400 health. I like the fact that crits are a thing now, that's good. Get them with the times a little bit. Maybe I should have invested in some armor at least. I feel like that would be, that should be important. Um. Yeah, you know what? Now it's customizations. What am I doing? Powers. Uh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to balanced. Um, because I haven't been told that I can change that, I figure the game probably wants me to stick with balanced XP. Uh, rather than just uh, attack. I can't remember what that does. Oh, that's a dodge buff, isn't it? Number six there on the action bar. I did have a quick look at my abilities because uh, I wanted to. I, I'm aware that's a kind of a boring thing to do on camera. Uh, just kind of look through all your skills and abilities and work out what's going on. Even though it's a rediscovery series, I kind of felt justified in, in spending 10, 15 minutes doing that off camera. I'm not even sure where I'm going. Puzzle room? Looks like a puzzle room to me. Uh, Alright. Bear with me. Puzzles have never been really my strong point. Now the first rule, you pick up everything. Right. Volve outer wheel, volve inner wheel. Yeah, no, I t Yeah. Oh man, I worked that out myself. You're going to take that from me as well. Take pitch. So pitch is like a sticky tar-like substance, I guess. Do I repair that with a pitch? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so the, so what? One of these is going to be missing a valve wheel. Looks like this one is going to be missing a valve wheel. Repair socket. All right. Now what? Is that done? Examine valve wheel. Do I need to put a valve wheel there as well? It can be used to channel water to the door mechanism, but there isn't any water. Oh, right, okay. So there's water in this one, I need to get it to each of these barrels in turn. All right, I, I guess I can do that. This is a ridiculous idea for a lock. I don't know who came up with this. I mean, it's not as anti secure. Also, I don't even want to know what kind of siphoning mechanism is causing this to happen. I'm no engineer, but it doesn't seem likely. A Queen Black Dragon scale drop. I forgot they added the Queen Black Dragon. Did they have the Culfight King as well, or have I made that up? I might have made that up. Come on, you got to have some respect for entomology, right? I used to I used to farm insects for a living, man. I uh, know what's up with insects. What are you, crushing pod? This poor soul is being turned into a crushing. How do I know that? How does my character know that that's what's happening? How does he have any way of just inferring that from his surroundings? I need to kill three of them? I seem to have three in the room, yeah, okay. Five. I can need to eat here? I mean, I can regenerate my health once I'm out of combat. I'm prevented from moving. Oh no. Seems like it might be a problem. Okay, uh, I'll take that. Right, okay. So once I've left combat... Yeah. My HP is being regenerated a little bit more slowly than I'd like. Seems pretty easy so far. Um, maybe it's intended just to get your health a little bit low so you, a new player might get scared. I do want to pick up that minnow though. <laughs> Increased combat level, I'm level 10 now? I don't know. Oh, 11, shit. Right, so I can't even, my character's not even gonna attempt to remove these four guys from their supposed fate. Of being turned into crashes. Oh, is this a patrolling guards puzzle? RuneScape loves this shit. I mean, RuneScape really loves this shit. Oh, it is, isn't it? Alright. 
No, he's seen me. He's fucking killed me, shit. Say what? Oh, apparently I'm fine. And my health has come back. Do I just wait here? Ah. Oh. Is that, I'm so bad at this. Is that, is that a, a safe spot, an, an alcove, some might say? He's just straight, I, I didn't even bother to wait that time. I am like the worst hero. Right, go, go, go. Did he even walk past me? How did he not see me? Can he only see me when he's walking um, west? That is bad design, man. Examine barrier. Prevents me from progressing. Why? Right, this calls me to put down my coffee cup and think about this shit. Why am I being prevented from progressing? Okay, I've thought about this shit. I need to eliminate the patrolling creatures. How? I can't attack them. I don't think, no. Uh, what about these boxes? Is there anything? Ah, oh, come on. I don't know how I would do that. Is there something back here maybe I haven't seen? Oh, that's not a torch on the wall, that's a lever. Oh shit, he's going to see me now. No, he's not. Alright, pull lever. Who came up with this dungeon, man? Who built this? This is a network of sewers that's got spike traps in it. And barriers that only inexplicably get destroyed when the patrolling crab guard dies. What is that? What does that mean? Right, so there'll be another lever. I should be able to follow him around. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I have eyes. <laughs> There's the lever. All right, it's really showing me at this time. This should be, if anything, easier than the last one. Right. Where's my run energy? Wow. I, I don't know who built this shit. Right, where's the lever for this one? Oh, th not every quest needs a million cutscenes, Jagex. I know you're very proud of your new engine. Right. <laughs> Let's go, I guess. Got a bit close to him there. Sometimes in puzzles like this, they'll see you if you're in front of them, obviously, but they'll also see them if you get too close to the mob behind them. Oh, he saw me. What a stupid twat. If I end up right back at the start now, I'm going to be very unhappy. No, I'm not, okay. Right, so I'll run for it now. Didn't see where the lever was. Oh, it's there. It's right up here. Can't click on it. For reasons that unbeknownst to myself. So that should kill both of them? All right. My characters just assume that these are the bad guys, for no reason at all. Just because they, just as they happen to be crabs. Oh, there's a dude, no, a woman on the floor. She is partially decomposed, which would imply there's very little I can do for her. Uh, what's in here? A oh, chest. I will gladly search this chest. Five hundred coins and three uncut sapphires. Well, that just seems beautiful. Oh, I need 20 crafting, of course. All right. To follow this one around. Uh, it's only because the cutscenes interrupt the rhythm that I've already kind of worked towards. All right. 
So I think I need to stay really, really close now. Oh, my run energy is 100% for some reason. I can see it's at the top right here. Is there a lever? I'm not seeing a lever. But maybe I just missed it. I must have just missed it. Or maybe it's not here. Maybe it's maybe it's here. Okay. It'll be up here then. Oh, what's up here? A waterfall. No, 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 no. Okay. 120 invention. I don't know if that's like... Oh, I don't know. At first I was like seriously impressed, but now I'm just like, it just must be kind of easy. And 99 room crafting as well. I'm not saying that it being hard is necessarily better, but I, I was kind of hoping that it was. Just for my own personal kind of gratification. <laughs> but there's a lot more to do, so each individual task being perhaps easier than it used to be 10 years ago doesn't necessarily mean that there's less longevity to the game overall. Uh, just that any individual goal is perhaps less impressive than it would have been 10 years ago. But then, like I keep saying and reminding myself, it's a different game. So I just need to kill these guys. Man, my dude is all about shoot first, ask questions later, right? Really, I mean, I have, I, I've made the first move here, right? I, I've attacked these guys, not the other way around. This is self-defense on their part. I, I don't know necessarily that they're behind what's been going on, the disappearance of villages of Ashdale, wherever the fuck Ashdale is. Just kind of, you know, gone into the sewers for God knows why, but we're down the rabbit hole now. And, uh, and just started murdering the fuck out of them. I'm not sure I'm for it, honestly. I, I, I think I might be the bad guy. Ooh, coins and an uncat emerald. Lovely. Alright, I'll just have to get on the sewer boat. And sail away. Oh, shit. Boss fight? I'll attack these tentacles. Stun immune, okay, well. I won't use my wide variety of stunning abilities on them. I do have kick, to be fair. Hitting quite hard, actually. Do they maybe telegraph that attack and you have to get it away? Not that I noticed. Yeah, no, they, they, they absolutely do. <laughs> I thought that was just their combat animation. But no, they are telegraphing the fuck out of that. All right. I can probably afford to attack a little bit more. Maybe not that much. I'm gonna eat a minnow. I'm gonna eat two minnows. And then move! <laughs> oh, that one was on me. I'm gonna eat another minnow. Okay, one more. Set of two attacks should do it. No. Yes. 82 minus 80. Is that more or less than zero? I can't remember. My character has absolutely no motive for doing anything he's done during this quest. The last sensible thing he did was agree to help out. Yeah, I'm not even sure about that. Agaroth. Shit. Oh, no. Whoa, wait, wait, what? He's hitting the fuck out of me. How's he hitting the fuck out of me? It's fucking claws, man. Also, 200 million Slayer XP. That's incredible. He's just twatting me. How do I even beat this guy? Do I kill his tentacles? Does killing his tentacles do anything? No? Oh no, I don't want to run into that. Holy shit! Do I just like hit him once and run away? Even that doesn't seem to have worked. I don't know what I'm doing here.
Examine Agaroth, a huge aquatic monster. Well, I could have told you that. Can I attack the tentacle? I cannot attack the tentacle. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking so much damage. There must be a reason. I tried hitting him once and running away, but that doesn't seem to do anything. No, he's just hitting me before I can run. I don't get it. What's up here? You're a tentacle. He's a tentacle. He's okay. There is nothing up here. Do I need to, like, stay away from the track on that... On the boat there? Oh god, I can't even get away from that. It's doing less damage to me the less health I've got. But his claw attack is not. Ah, get out, that looks dangerous. Agaroth shields himself from attacks. Yeah, he was losing, so. Oh wow, okay. So. I don't move this slayer counter. So I have no more minnows. I have three minnows. Uh, yeah, I'll loot all. I don't give a fuck, right. <coughs> Excuse me. I must kill the creature. Why? Also, how? Actually, no, Scrutter, just how? How do I kill the creature? I guess I'll keep trying and perhaps uh, a method will reveal itself. seem like I'm able to do very much damage to it without it attacking me. Like one attack and that seems to do it. Do I just keep hammering away at it? And dodging that shit? Do I just keep hammering it and then dodging its really powerful attacks? Seems like a reasonable compromise. Unless I need to use my, my particular combat abilities on it, perhaps? Momentum is no longer active. Well, fuck. And now I'm in full manual. Oh, no. Ah, get away! Get away! Oh, fuck, man. Right, so this is where he uses his really powerful attack. This is not responsive enough. <laughs> I guess I can deal with just getting away from his really powerful attacks. Okay. That seems fine. Yeah, because that's not doing like, a huge amount of damage. Shielding myself from attacks again. I, 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 I tried to get away from there, but clearly I didn't try very hard. This is going better than it went last time. Also need to stay away from the tentacles, of course. Okay. I don't know why I had so much trouble last time. I think I just wasn't expecting it to be even remotely challenging, so I just kind of went in all guns blazing and then panicked a little bit when he started doing ridiculous amounts of damage to me. Oh shit, wrong way. Ah, I got away with it. <laughs> Shouldn't have got away with it. Oh yeah, I'm still on full manual, shit. All right, that's okay though. Whoa, what? This is some fucking ripper roo shit right here. You want to play Crash 2? That was a fun fight. I forgot I was full manual. Can I stun it? Okay. If anything, that makes it easier. Oh yeah, I use my, my use my alt. Yeah, two hundred sixty-seven damage, mate. Oh no, I'm safe. I'm safe here.
He's dead. All but. Okay, I panicked a little bit um, the first time. It's actually super easy. All right then. <laughs> that death animation though. Yeah. Kill the dude. I saved them apparently. Great. Yeah, I'll go back to the mainland. I don't know if there's much here in, in Ashdale. Why? Why does it make your skin crawl just to think of it? They're fucking sea creatures. There's some weird shit that lives in the sea. You ever hear of the fucking anglerfish? That is the least of your worries. Uh, yeah, I don't give. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, reward, lovely. Three black pearls. I don't know what that is. And a pathfinder cape. What's a black pearl? I can use this item to gain bonus XP. There's a thing. Um, yeah, we'll go hard on agility. Oh, it actually says there. Yeah, when you. Uh, okay, sure. When you train agility, you'll re you'll get um, bonus XP. Right, so you know what, we'll use our treasure hunter keys. And 10 hearts of ice, which says it allows you to freeze certain categories. I think that, uh, yeah, I, I, I had a bit of a think about it and when it gives you prismatic skills um, or prismatic lamps or fallen stars uh, that still have a skill attached to them, like a, a prismatic lamp for dungeoneering that you can actually use on skills that aren't dungeoneering as well. I think that's for the purposes of, of category freezing, maybe. Um, so that you can't just like completely get rid of um, fallen stars, because I imagine they're among the lower value items for the most part. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I'll take that. That's an XP lamp though, not a fallen star, which might be better. Oh, uncommon. Shark legs. The legs of a shark. What is it? What does it do? Category promotional? I'm gonna cash it out. Yeah, I want 5k. I want 5 fucking k. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on Noob Rediscovers Room